Well, good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick. Today is Thursday, August 25th. It's time now for our daily devotion. We are in 2 Corinthians again, and we're in chapter 3. We're starting today at verse 1. Are we beginning to commend ourselves again, or do we need, as some do, letters of recommendation to you or from you? You yourselves are our letter of recommendation, written on our hearts to be known and ready by all. And you show that you are a letter from Christ delivered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts, such as the confidence that we now have through Christ towards, towards God. Not that we are sufficient in ourselves to claim anything as coming from us, but our sufficiency is from God, who has made us competent to be ministers of a new covenant, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. Now, if the ministry of death carved in letters on stone came with such glory that the Israelites could not gaze at Moses' face because of its glory, which was being brought to an end, will not the ministry of the Spirit have even more glory? For if there was glory in the ministry of condemnation, the ministry of righteousness must far exceed it in glory. Indeed, in this case, what once had glory has come to have no glory at all because of the glory that surpasses it. For if what was being brought to the end came with glory, much more will, will what is permanent have glory. Since we have such hope, we are very bold, not like Moses, who would put a veil over his face so that the Israelites might not gaze at the outcome of what was being brought to an end, but their minds were hardened. For to this day, when they read the Old Covenant, that same veil remains unlifted, because only through Christ is it taken away. Yes, to this day, whenever Moses is, is read, a veil lies over their hearts. But when one turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we all, with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Okay, so we have a nice dichotomy here that's set up between really Old and New Testament, that that is what Paul is talking about when he's talking about the glory that was coming to an end. And that was the Old Covenant. That was the covenant that was made with Moses on Mount Sinai between Moses and the people so that they would, in essence, obey to keep the laws of God and God would be their God. But this was a, a covenant really, as Paul writes here, of condemnation because the law revealed the wickedness of sin. Um, we know that we're sinners by the Ten Commandments because we know we don't keep these commandments faithfully. And so Paul is talking about uh, a better covenant with more glory that surpasses that of the Old Testament covenant with Moses. And that's the covenant of the Spirit. That's the new covenant that we have um, with Christ through baptism, that we become members of this covenant in the same way that the Jews of the Old Covenant became members through circumcision. And baptism is our circumcision. It is our gra being grafted in to the New Covenant and being uh, a member and an heir of the New Covenant. And so the New Covenant is a covenant of the Spirit. The Old Covenant was a covenant of the written law on tablets of stone that uh, people would read and reflect upon and uh, be called to do, but also um, it would testify against them because they would not do these things um, as honorably and faithfully as God had uh, required in the law. But through this newer covenant, we have the forgiveness of our sins, and we have the spirit that is deposited uh, directly into our hearts through faith that by hearing the word of God, by being baptized into the Spirit, we receive the Spirit, and now we have the assurance of God's favor and his grace as we look ahead to his coming kingdom here at the end of the age. All right, let's continue now as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Everyone, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. All right, so um, announcements for this morning. We are having uh, Mahjong today, and that's going to be at its uh, its usual time here of, uh, of 10 a.m. in just a couple of hours or an hour and a half. Grief Share is also happening tonight. We've got confirmation orientation planning uh, planned for this Saturday. If you are coming to that, please RSVP with me and let me know. And then uh, Women's Bible Study is happening on August 30th. So uh, that's all the announcements I have for right now. Thank you for watching our daily devotions today. And uh, Elizabeth will be here with you tomorrow for Friday's daily devotion. God bless the rest of your day.